Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy and today we are going to be taking a look at Chamber of Secrets for the PC. Released in 2002, I know this game holds a lot of nostalgia bliss, so I will carry it tenderly and lovingly. If you aren't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, let's dive in. It is September and classes are starting. We are heading into the best wizarding school in the world, Hogwarts. After narrowly escaping the Whomping Willow, Harry and Ron make their way indoors and race up to the common room. The this game isn't quite as close to the original to the story as I would have expected, but that doesn't necessarily make it a bad game. Hermione quickly makes her appearance as our golden there trio is reunited. Classes start the next day and your adventure begins. Let's take a look at the graphics in this game, seemingly improved since Philosopher's Stone. Our boy Ron here looks like he got a serious facelift. I bet Harry and Hermione though... They could probably use some help. The ghosts in particular are looking far less noodly than in the first game, but I still wouldn't be keen on walking past one of them at night. Come to me. Let me rip you. Ayasana. And I call Filch sexy. Is that allowed? You can see that there's just been a lot more work put into this game. There are more open areas to explore, such as the castle grounds and inside the castle itself. One of my favorite spots was the stairwell with all the portraits, but I do wish the portraits were moving. We saw in the Hogwarts Legacy trailer that they were definitely in the game, so I'm super excited for that. And now we have made it to our first class with the most iconic teacher of the story, Professor Lockhart. I can't help but laugh at his narcissistic self, but wait until you see his challenge. Unlike the first game, you don't use your mouse to draw the spell. You use your keyboard in a sort of DDR style, but for your fingers. It's much easier. Lockhart's challenge introduces the gremlins and some new things you can do. The gremlins you can now pick up and throw into their little lairs and out pop the ever-present jelly beans. Speaking of jelly beans, should your house win the weekly house point ceremony, you'll get a chance to visit the bean room to collect more jelly beans. Because as we know, beans are the only currency in Harry Potter, not galleons, as you previously probably thought. At one point, the Weasley twins even offer a Nimbus 2001. Oliver Wood, who I thought was the dreamiest when I was a child, takes you to your first Quidditch practice. What is that? Hey. Professor Snape does have his face back in this game, and he's looking like the dude from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I'm not wrong. This game added the use of cauldrons to create a health potion with. I do wish there was more variety in potions that you could brew, but, you know, I'll take one over none. Maybe next game will be better. Films. Enemies of the air, beware! You'll be next, mudbloods. She's been petrified, but how? I cannot say. We should ask Professor Flitwick about the Chamber of Secrets. Has anyone actually seen Professor Bins outside of the books? They have Flitwick take his place in the scene where Hermione asks about the Chamber of Secrets. One's at the ready. Scared Potter. You wish. The dueling club did not disappoint. I love the little area you fight Malfoy in and the, what, cinematography? Whatever, it's great here. The herbology section has begun and while it isn't as ambitious as the greenhouse in Philosopher's Stone, it still has some very interesting aspects like this skinny group looking bow trickle. <laughs> oh yeah, Peeves is back again and as obnoxious as ever. Cornish pixies exist in this game and hitting them is so satisfying. I thought it was pretty cool that you were able to go into Dumbledore's office and talk to the Sorting Hat in that iconic scene where Harry's asking if he actually belongs in Slytherin. The trio decides to create a polyjuice potion to sneak into the Slytherin common room. So you go off and poison Goyle. I mean, you knock him out. I mean, okay, there's no good way of putting this. Disgusting. 
you've got his hair and you're on your way into Slytherin. Getting into the common room felt very much like those Minecraft builds where someone will have like eight different entrances that eventually lead you inside the house. Goyle's voice was the masterpiece of this game. I kind of wonder if it was just the kid playing Harry talking really slowly. There you are, Goyle. I've been looking all over for you. You know, Goyle, I suppose Dumbledore's trying to hush up all these attacks. He'll be sacked if they don't stop soon. Some idea who's behind it all. You know I haven't, Goyle. How many times do I have to tell you? better try to keep my distance from more spells like spongify get you flying across the map which i found was so fun <laughs> harry and run discover a diary in the girl's bathroom and are quickly transported back into the memory of hagrid being confronted by riddle if you aren't aware of the original storyline basically riddle sets up hagrid when they're students and blames the students deaths on aragog a spider hagrid is hiding and caring for Fast forward to the present, and Hagrid is on trial again, this time being blamed by Lucius Malfoy. Harry goes off in search of Aragog to ask if he knows who opened the Chamber of Secrets this time, and while Aragog admits he was never guilty, he also relieves Hagrid of any blame too. Hagrid, I came to help him. Why does some say that Hagrid released a monster long ago in Hogwarts. Goodbye, friend of Hagrid. But that doesn't stop him Bite from letting him his babies try to eat you, though. Children. Bite him. Uh, bite him. My hey, Dad, children. we heard you the first time. Ah. After this song and dance, the Ford Anglia arrives with Ron, and you go back off to school in search of the Chamber of Secrets because, Amazing work, you know, I... one near-death experience just wasn't enough. What if it's in Mining, Mining Myrtle's, Myrtle's bathroom? bathroom? Ron goes to grab Lockhart, who is undoubtedly preening himself. Open. Open. That's not working. Maybe if I try parcel tongue. Open. That's got it. Well, Harry manages well, to open up the entrance to the chamber, and the three make their way in. I, I feel I'm imagining Salazar Slytherin building this secret chamber in Hogwarts. Yeah, like, I want magic trampolines that you have to jump on. Oh yeah, um, let's make the snakes breathe fire. Oh no, he was the kind of guy to have such a pimped out lair. One of the downsides I found in this game, which I also did find in the first one, is they tend to kind of shove the entire storyline into the last hour of gameplay, and I'm not really quite sure why they do it that way. I mean, you had an entire six hours to put the story in, like, come on. After acquiring the Sword of Gryffindor, you use it to shoot fiery flames at the Basilisk, He smokes a fat one, and then you're off out of the chamber and on to win the house cup. Because of course, even though I didn't win nearly enough points, I'm still going to win because I'm a Gryffindor. Thanks, Dumbledore. Slytherin. What? That means first place, and the house cup goes to Gryffindor. Yes, we did it again. Overall, I would say I really did enjoy playing this game. I found it to be so much fun, but I'm more looking forward to playing The Prisoner of Azkaban. I don't think this game was as strong as the first one, and I'm not quite sure if that's due to the storyline or what, but I just found the first game was so much more ambitious in what they tried, even though this game did have more to it. I hope that makes sense. 
Like I said, though, I would definitely recommend this game to a fan. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed my review. And I really hope you will be back for the next video. Bye.